Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lato FM here, and today I'm going to show you my GSM mobile base station. Now you may ask, what is GSM? Now GSM is a mobile telecommunication standard uh, from the second gen. It's the second generation of cellular networks. You may know it as when you see an E on your phone. It's Basically that, it's used for SMS, calls and data. Now, what I'm going to show you, you can do all of the three. You can do data, voice and SMS. Now, you may ask how you're going to do that. Well, firstly, you need this box. Now, what I have in here it is this um, SDR software defined radio now this is a bit more advanced than some USB sticks yeah, than you may have seen those RTL SDR now this is a USRP it's more advanced SDR which can also transmit now this is made for what I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for you to buy it. It's from eBay. Um, I ordered it. It arrived fine. It arrives with a USB cable like this. And you can order with antennas and power supply, but I've made my own. So anyway, of course you can... You need some more... You need more stuff than a simple radio. And, well... You need, of course, a computer. Now, I have this laptop without the top. It's basically a lot. Um, now, you can use any sort of laptop. Um, even a Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to get to that. I use this because, well, it's convenient. I can SSH into this and, well, I will show you later. I have a pre-built operating system which has pre-compiled the OpenBTS binaries uh, it's in this USB stick I'm going to put a link on the description for that keep in mind uh, you can compile your own since this is like Ubuntu 12 on 32-bit it's, it's not going to work well on modern, mod modern systems like the Wi-Fi and some drivers are not going to work, but this is good enough for this. So, how does it work? Well, I've made this laptop boot of USB as a default, so let me show you that. It's pretty quick uh, if you if you made it once, you can repeated a lot of times so we have the USB cable here it's a nice shielded USB 2.0 ah, about the ra that Raspberry Pi part you can compile it but well you need some old libraries and I've tried it and just left it if you want to make a really portable one, I suggest you find a thin client or a really, really small laptop. Anything with an x86 processor is going to work. So anyway, let me connect this. Now, I have this um, custom-made Ethernet bridge. Let me just pull that out. It's basically a small TP-Link router with an antenna and HDMI, <laughs> sorry, Ethernet cable. This has Wi-Fi and the drivers do support it, but I can use this on every computer and I, I like it that way. So, plug in the Ethernet and there we go. 
Now let me show you how I power this radio. Now it's a bit difficult because it uses 6 volts and most of my adapters are 12 volts also it uses quite a lot of power for this also it this part heats up a lot so I suggest you put a fan which I had here anyway let me show you my setup I have this 12 volt 2 amp power supply with uh, with this I've wired these cables to here basically center positive and the outer negative you can of course make your own much better and this voltage converter 12 to 6 so I'm going to need a plug for that make sure you don't damage this because you don't want to wait another month for this to get delivered the out out plus to red of course and same with minus so we have the power part of this SDR ready and let me also wire in the computer and show you the configuration on my computer now you will need to do some stuff but it's pretty much it pretty much works out of the box so let me plug that in also let me plug in the power oh, where is that there it is now you can use this as a testing for hacking in your own network now you can do a lot of things make your own let's say you have bad signal or you are in a village with no signal at all you could make some of this and basically make your own mobile operator now is it legal well eh, sort of uh, most GSM frequencies are already occupied some countries allow they have specified for public usage now I've selected ones that don't lie in the 900 megahertz GSM band for Europe it's the ISM band but it's a bit it's depending on your country and it's like a gray area so let me plug in the power strip and this doesn't have the best contact for okay it's a bit of a mess here that's why I recommend you go with a smaller laptop and you could put everything in a box because you, now you have this mess anyway uh, I prefer to test the adapter with an old router so I know I'm not going to damage anything so I have this old router if it works yes it powers up you, I don't think you can see it it's very faint yeah you can see it so now I know it's okay, so I can plug it in. It won't start strand transmitting a rat out when you power it, when the computer will upload the firmware for it to do what it needs to do. So let me connect everything and boot it up. Now, if you ask me, what is this? Well, since uh, I had two of these antennas, both straight like this, they created interference, and it has like it had like a 
2 meter range. This has a pretty powerful transmitter for an STR. It's not something you expect. So I made this wire. I cut it in the right length. So you can I can receive a little bit better the phone signals. So let me plug that in. I'm going to put more sources in the description, guides and things like that if you are interested. So I'm going to boot the computer and now I'm going to show you the phone part when it boots. So we are back, the system has been booted. Now I had some difficulties because this thing went to sleep and well anyway let's connect uh, some phones now I'm going to use this old Android LG phone I'm going to zoom in for you okay now it's in flight mode and I'm going to well first let me charge it for a bit because it doesn't have much battery where I have chargers sorry for the noise but okay I found one finally I can charge it okay let's turn off flight mode and boom it has connected to a network called Lapcom now I'm going to show you how you can connect how you can find the network to connect to Keep in, this is an expired sim not an active one uh, it will work even with an active sim I will show you later on my iPhone and it's if you use the pre-built image it's that easy it just boots up you plug in the radio and it works it's it's really cool so go here you will have now I know I have this in Greek but just search how to find network carriers on your model device it's usually under the settings for cellular connectivity you can find it i'm sure anyway you can see it detected wind vodafone cosmote and lacom my the thing i've made so let's make a test call there is this number which is basically echo back I'm going to set some random stuff and you will see it works you will send a response there we go now let me call a number I'm going to call an the echo number which is basically echo so I think you can hear me yeah so that's the quality not too bad for a mobile phone if you're using a better phone it will have be you know one two three four testing it's all right especially not in speaker mode okay let me close that so we did calls SMS data now yes data does work I can enable and oh, it's a bit finicky it doesn't always work you need to enable roaming of course which I have but as I said it doesn't always work 
Usually, it, uh, if it doesn't work, restart everything, then it will maybe work. So let me close that and let's connect using my iPhone. So we have this phone connected to a regular cell network and I'm going to on settings cellular network select provider and make sure oh my it's this put the laptop it slept again I don't know why it does that in my testing it has never slept during calls and such it's kind of annoying now iPhones have a problem detecting the network instantly you need to be near the radio and even then it doesn't always work you need to make tricks like this press a network and then switch it really fast so you can see this it's searching I'll just test something real quick It's searching. Now these are issues that you. Oh, did you just hear that? Hello. Hello. Okay, it works. Um, if you hear any buzzing or noise, it's from the radio. I hope you don't hear anything because I will see in the end. Now, you can see it just bugged for a bit. So you go back and search again. You see? Just wait for a bit and it will show up. Now on iPhones it shows up as a number, on Android phones it shows up as a number but after you connect one time it will show the name you have put in. So I put Lapcom, it shows Lapcom here and when I search it also says Lapcom. Now let me just, oh okay, you see it just popped up so I click it. You have to go back and it will connect for a bit. You see it's searching, that's... And boom, it has connected to the network. You can see, now I have already put number in both of these devices. So, that means I can call one another. So... I put seven four or whatever. Think you can hear a small and calling works. Hold on. I think you can hear me. There's a bit of a echo, but it's okay. So. Let me just... Okay, that's good. You can, of course, have SMS conversations with... Let, let me just... I usually just send garbage for it to send. Now, if, have you, if you do have data enabled and you send an SMS, it's going to be faster. And there it is. I've received an SMS, I can type back and it will send. You will see the message here and there we go. T calling works, SMS works, 
I haven't been able to show you data connection maybe I can add it later in a clip or something let's test the data on iPhone usually it works okay with iPhones so let me just turn it on and yeah that's a network side problem I cannot I need to reboot again with I will show you a clip of the data working later so oh it just worked you see GPRS it's general packet radio it's basically a slower edge so let me just do that let me demonstrate it by SSHing into the laptop now you can block you can block this you can make the phones not connect th to the host or other phones but I have it right now and it doesn't work as I've said it's a bit finicky but you can see it shows up here yeah, it doesn't like to cooperate now oh I can show you a web page now this is a local version it's made by one of my friends you can put in a password and it will load now it is really slow but that's except up oh, there you can see stuff and you can see it works I don't think I can I need to demonstrate more it works on Android I hope I hope it works now on this phone Ah, it doesn't. If I reboot it will probably work, but not now. So, you can have up to 8 phones calling. So you can have 8 phones simultaneously on a call, but no more. You can have more on SMS and data, I think, but on calls there is an 8 device limit. Also, uh, using an active SIM card on an iPhone, iPhones like to go back to the SIM card operator's network. So, if you put it on sleep with data closed, it will revert back. It likes to stay using data. I don't know why. So, we demonstrated SMS, data and calling. What's next? Well, since it's a, these calls are going through a voice over IP system, so you can plug, let plug. So, uh, sorry for that uh, cut. I accidentally unplugged my camera, and there will be a few corruption artifacts so sorry for that anyway what was I was trying to say since this is a voice over IP system the red is just the interface well you could plug let's say this in now what is this it converts your voice over IP signal through a normal telephone signal so you could connect a phone like this on this voice over IP system now let me first show you um, the voice over IP client on my computer and then I am going to show you the actual hardware way to do that so I'm going to start a recording on my PC and now you can't see it I will put on the editing of course I have the phone and 
I'm going to call the computer it's on 2004 so it does so up oh, and it just crashed oh no it didn't it just oh it actually crashed that's a unfortunate thing but uh, things like this uh, happen so let me just turn off on to auto answer and let me let me call again so 2004 as you can see I'm calling you can hear the ringtone on my PC and you can also hear me now oops it's not the best quality but it's okay just for a voice call you can understand speech so you can understand speech doesn't matter now with the voice calls you can do conference calling now what is this and the computer shut down how did this happen anyway what I was trying to say before um, I was interrupted again by this laptop is you can do conference calling with this phone you have through a VoIP client then you can add phones so do I have signal still? I don't believe I have oh it didn't shut down that's a nice thing okay so on my computer I'm going to make a conference call so I put the participants and you can see my hand and you will see both of the phones ringing iPhone is first and the LG phone so now okay enough but as you saw it worked now let me show you with the version with the hardware phone first let me clean up a bit so much better right now what i have here this is the voice over ip adapter which i told you about and an ordinary telephone it's connected the telephone to this and this to my network which is connected to the laptop now you can also if you have a voice over ip trunk a SIP trunk or a gateway you can connect it to a real PSTN, VoIP, ISDN network and make real calls outside of your nice project so what I have here well I have the phone I'm going to put it here and I'm going to call oops wrong number and Can you hear me? I know I know there's a lot of echo but I think you can hear my voice Anyway, that was enough and I can also call the phone from here huh. Let me put the 
Lately I have some issues with this box and this telephone but it's just a proof of concept and as you saw it worked, a voice passed through it and anyway let me call again 2002 the extension oh and as you can see now it worked this phone rang I think maybe because I put it in turn off the ringer I, I don't know anyway it worked both calling the phone and both the phone calling the landline so what's uh, the summary well you can create your own GSM network voice over IP network connect them and you can make pretty cool stuff you can call people through the internet you can call everyone if you connect it through a real provider to the outside world now I hope if you have any questions you can tell me in the comments or join my discord server and I hope you like this video it's something that especially this open BTS project have hasn't received any attention for years it's probably the newest video of mine so I hope you find it useful if you want to create your own and of course I have all the links in the description and I wish you a pleasant day bye